Hey guys, Pi Rules here, and welcome back to another reaction video to a Sponge Out of Water trailer. This time it was the uh, Spongebob sneak peek that Nickelodeon did uh, during its Spongebob Christmas marathon thing they were doing. Um, I'm actually at my parents' house now, and they do have Nickelodeon, so I was watching it, but I wasn't watching it during the time that the sneak peek came on, unfortunately. Um, but I saw it on YouTube later on, so... Uh, so I thought I'd give my reaction here. Um, I think uh, I, I think it was a really interesting sneak peek. Um, we've seen in trailers kind of the bigger picture of the story. We know that the live-action pirate's been hunting for the secret formula because it's the key to this book thing. Um, and, you know, we we know that SpongeBob and the gang are going to go above the water to go fight him. We know they're going to become superheroes. So you know, we, we know a lot of the bigger parts of the movie. Um, but what we haven't seen a lot yet was like. A scene or two just kind of playing out we, we didn't really see a, a lengthy period of time it was like you know here's you know plot point plot, plot point plot point joke plot point plot, you know we didn't we didn't see the whole scene uh so that that's what i like about this sneak peek here uh the first part of it anyway the second part is just more of spongebob and patrick going up on land uh, with the rest of uh, with uh, mr crab squidward and sandy and you know they see the guy oh he must be smart he's got 10 heads and they flip him over I, we we have seen that in so many trailers uh, at this point, and so many previews and everything. When it happens in the movie, I'm I'm just gonna like you know close my eyes and, and take a nap for a few minutes just because like I've seen that scene so many times. What's supposed to be just kind of this big, you know, this big triumphant moment of SpongeBob finally up on land. Ignore that of SpongeBob finally up on land, you know, and, and all that sort of stuff. Even though he was in the previous movie, but whatever. It's supposed to be a big moment. It's just gonna not be because of all. They, they've been overusing that scene in the trailer. But but regardless, the, the first scene there was what was really key because they just let a scene uh, play out, presumably one towards the beginning of the movie um, when, the, when the formula initially just goes missing there. We assume the pirate uh, teleports it away or whatever. Um, what, what really kind of... Um, what, what you get out of this... So, like I said, you get, you know, you get a feel of the story in the other trailers and stuff... What you get out of this is uh, a feel for how the movie is going to play out in general. Um, you know, first of all, SpongeBob's voice, as a lot of you have pointed out, uh, is definitely lower. Um, it's probably about the same place it was in the um, in in the first few seasons, uh, in, in season two or three, probably um, is is about where I'd put it at. Of course, I need to hear more, but um, that that's right off the bat. That's a positive. Um, but also, Spongebob seems to be more intelligent. Uh, I mean, not more intelligent than he usually is, but, uh, you know, when it comes to Spongebob, depending on the episode, he can be, you know, incredibly stupid and incredibly ignorant of the world around him, or he could be, I'd say, pretty average Joe, uh, intelligence, and, and it seems like they're going more towards average Joe intelligence, which is smart because you don't want to see an hour and a half of, of, you know, Spongebob walking around not knowing what's going on, you know, at, like that shtick can work for 11 minutes that shtick cannot work for for a full-length movie um that just that doesn't doesn't sit right um for that long um so it's good to see that uh and and it's good to see that in in the scenes we saw there were jokes there were definitely jokes but there did seem to be a big emphasis on the plot um you know and the, and the jokes they did tell they didn't really derail the plot you know like it didn't feel like they're taking time out of the movie to make jokes it feels like they're going with this more serious plot than usual they're making it you know more epic more dramatic more intense than usual um and the jokes there are you know just kind of they happen fast you know they happen fast and they're gone they're not taking you know tons of time out of the out of the plot to to go on this whole thing and i'm, I'm sure they will at some point but um at some points in the movie kind of derail it for jokes like they did all like like this seems to be when they go on the surface that's just a ton of jokes there but um, but it really does seem to seem to be that they know when plot has to happen, plot has to happen, and jokes can't weigh it down. You know, there's times for jokes in movies, but when when the plot is really setting off, you know, you gotta get that strong. Um, and it does feel strong. It does feel like you know what's going on with the formula. It just literally disappears in the mid middle of an altercation between SpongeBob and Plankton. Um, you know, it's pretty epic and dramatic, and Mr. Krabs comes busting in and like. Um, it definitely feels big, which which it should. Um, so that's that's good. Uh, and, and in terms of the jokes, I like the jokes too. Um, you know, I like how Plankton was like, hmm, it, it disappeared, but I proved you couldn't use molecular teleportation with science years ago. 
you know, and then SpongeBob's like, hmm, I think I forgot to feed Gary this morning, you know, just like that kind of thing, uh, that kind of joke. And um, another thing, there's a scene where uh, there's a reporter and the Bikini Bottomites are all running around, the city's in flames and all that. Um, and we've seen that we've seen that a lot on the show. We saw it in Hoobob, we saw it in like Wormy, you know, we, we've seen it a ton. Um, but when they really showed it, it, it seemed more intense than usual. Uh, it definitely seemed more dramatic, more intense, more serious, uh, which is good, which is, this is what I'm looking for. In an 11 minute Spongebob short, I want to laugh. In an hour and a half movie, I still want to laugh, but you know, you need a story to hold the attention. You need a story to pull it all through. Um, and you know, if the rest of the movie is, is like that scene, if, if, you know, at least plot wise, uh, can take itself as seriously as it does there. Um, I'd be very happy. Uh, I, I think, you know, I, I'm I'm very very optimistic. Um, I think it'll be at least at least the same level of the first movie. Um, you know, projected. I, I don't know that it's going to be a fantastic movie, um, but I think it'll be at least a solid, decent movie that SpongeBob fans will absolutely love, and you know, people that aren't SpongeBob fans won't won't mind seeing it. That that's I think. Um, that's I think at least where this where this movie is heading, and and that's that's really all I hope for. You know, I'm not expecting it to be, uh, you know, a fantastic movie by any right, but um, you know, it it shouldn't be that hard to make a SpongeBob movie that's at least decent. You know, um, so there you go. Uh, I'm sure there'll be maybe some more information right before the movie comes out that I'll react to, but if not, um, you know, I'm definitely going to be giving you a big long vlog once the movie comes out of, of my, all my feelings on it and my initial first impressions. Um, so what did you guys think of the sneak peek? Did you like it? Not like it? Tell me what you thought. Pie Rules, out.